fair share of Falcons too. And so this is a loser's qualifier. So I, I believe, believe so, that means yeah. uh, Clutch lost to uh, Hbox, I think. I believe and then that was uh, Mateo to Mont Money. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah they were teammates. Sure. I saw that with the record when we looked yeah. at it. I think we go right into it, too. Falcon Mars, uh, you know, we've seen a lot. Um, Zane used to struggle a lot in this matchup. That's true. So we, we've seen it kind of roll in both sides as, yeah. as Zane started to learn it. And we'd see it every top eight, you know? We've seen Zane get more comfortable against people like, you know, Wizrobe, obviously that, that famous Genesis set. Exactly, you know, we've seen him get comfortable yeah. against the uh, S2J as well. Two Falcons have had his number for a long time. Uh -huh. And then he also played none that smashed recently, which was a very, like, more so Zane favorite. I think it was only a free one. Oh, my God. Zane's favorite. Mark dead? No, not quite. Gosh, and Falcon has only taken 17% so far. You know, I, I think for a lot of mid to lower upper level Mars, this is kind of a problem matchup. Yeah, it can be very, very tough. You feel like you kind of plateau here, and I heard people talk about if they think Falcon beats Mark or not, considering uh -huh. the combo that, combo that Mark or Falcon has on Mark, it can be pretty scary. Yeah, it scary. really is just Mark can get blown up so hard. Like and if the Falcon is recovering well, you know, those edge guards can can really actually be quite difficult. Plus with the fobs that Mark that Falcon has on Mark is really strong too. Like uh -huh. you see like down throw either to knee or down throw up there to keep a combo going. Falcon oh. has a lot of tools that can really catch a lot of Marth's off guard too. Yeah, so really the keys in this matchup for Marth to, you know, get around that is you have to punish hard. Yes. Punish hard with the tech chase or punish hard with uh, up throw follow ups. Yes. There is guaranteed trade grabs and, you know, general up throw follow ups. Um, but a lot of Mars, I think, will struggle into converting those into a kill, yeah. and that's really when you get to that next level. And that's like a so, that Mars has. It's like a struggle of like, you know, being able yeah. to kill is like a big issue that Mars has, just in general. But against Falcon, who's already a fast faller, so I'm going to find that one hit where Falcon just, like, you know, get that down throw near up air on you. He just tell the whole story sometimes. Yeah, and that, I think that's a lot of what we're seeing right here. Falcon finally going down at 149. Yeah, moving longer than I know that Clutch would really want to as well. Go to the tech chase a little bit with a down throw. Doesn't wait, get it. But now he oh, has that's Falcon huge. off. There it is. 52%. That's the a good major thing difference. that Marth has. A that's major the difference. Good thing. This is like a quick conversion like that and a huge punish will put things back in Clutch's favor. We yeah, still have Falcon, another stock to go. Falcon will really struggle to find those kills, but he'll, he has no problem finding the 40%, yeah. bear knee, nair knee, yes, down throw exactly. knee. Exactly. Nee, nee. Like the knee that he finds to do or that he needs to to get that stock. Like just a quick sequence like that. Kind of, like, kind of like a receipt for what Mark did, just did the Falcon, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Uh, and so we are going to go back to Battlefield. Um, this, I feel like there's a lot of preference in terms of, uh, you know, what, what stage Mars wants to go to here. Uh, personal preference, I mean. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, I've seen Mars that take Falcon to FD. I've seen Mars that take Falcon to Dreamland. Yep. I think that's hilarious. That's really weird, because I know, like, <laughs> it's really like, odd. It's like, you see a lot of Falcons, like, like Dreamland. Whereas uh -huh. that's a very, like, not really a Mars stage people like to do. I think Talbar doesn't oh, mind that stage God. against, like, Falcon sometimes. The uh -huh. way he kind of plays that matchup. Yeah. But it can be very, like, if you know your space, you can, like, keep Falcon away from which they're already really hard right. to do. It can go in your favor. There's down throw me and Mateo looking for that stock. Not quite. Yeah. I want to see the edge guard. Oh, no. Kind of lets Clutch get back on stage. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really strong, I feel, for Falcon to hold the ledge there in that situation. Yeah. Because you can just... Ledge hop, reverse knee, bear, you've got options, you know? Yeah, exactly, too. Especially where they're coming from as well, you kind of mix it up. It mostly is like back air and up air, and um, knee are kind of like your options when it comes to edge guarding. This is all depends on the angle they're coming at. Plus, going to get to try okay. get pressure on Mateo. Mateo. Mateo just coming back. Yeah, they're rising up air, but he crouched against it a little well, so good defense for the punch. Oh, not quite able to get the dare there. I think reverse hit would have done it. <laughs> Oh. Spot dodge just escaping it too, so good stuff from Clutch to not get blown up there because that would have been an edge guard setup at least. Oh, another one? No, no. not quite. Oh no. Goes for the dancing oh, blade. That's no. I get the idea behind it, and it's a very like unorthodox thing to do. Uh -huh. But you're just leaving yourself open a lot. We have a Mart yeah. here, uh, Kikaho. He yep. is a big user of Mark's side B in a very yeah. unorthodox, like unprecedented way. Not really like that. But we've seen kind of throw it out for like the, the solid hits. But uh -huh. when you get it, it's great, but if you miss it, it leaves you open. Yeah, and first hit side B is actually very usable against Falcon as well. Yeah. Uh, it's great for catching him out of the air and then following up on your own. So, you know, it has its uses, but the full side B Rekka type deal, uh, 
Maybe not so much. It's also a great floaty killer as well. You know, oh, yeah. Like people go put the uh, side beat up tilt type of thing. You see that happen a lot classic, with, uh, classic. With, bar, with bar players. I'm sure you would know as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the up tilt does catch, but not able to combo off of it. And I feel like I've been seeing Clutch struggle a lot comboing Falcon when he's above him. Yeah. You know? And that's a really, really valuable place for Mark to be. Yeah, it's above him. Or, uh, yeah, I yeah below, Falcon, Falcon, Falcon above him. Yeah, yeah. Above, above you. So you can do like up tilt, up airs, depending on whether they're going for DI, trying to get uh -huh. the ramp afterwards too. It can be a lot. Oh, these these F smashes are also tearing me apart. Yeah. I understand. Sure. It feels really good, but oh, great, great combo there. Yeah, that was a classic like double forward air uh -huh. uh, to, into a down air dunk. Like with tech chase. All right, tech chase. Yep. Oh, oh I think holds he the trigger. Place. A little bit too premature. That might be what Mateo needs to turn around. Knee. And that should be it, yeah. <laughs> Cleaning it up for Mateo. Does think he's a very much more competitive game from Punch, yeah. you know? Feel yeah. a lot more like not getting blown up as much, but only really allowing himself to kind of get comboed, like when that first hit happens or that grab happens, you know? Yeah, and I mean, you know, to Clutch's credit, I feel like there's not really like a checkmate stage here for Falcon. Mm -hmm. So if if he can start coming back in this set and continue to improve every single game, then yep. this this set is actually totally doable. And th th this is the kind of like the, well, this actually is a do or die. He loses, he's out of the tournament. Yeah. But I want to see what he has. He, when, when, he, when Falcon is above him, we haven't really seen much of a capitalization as you were saying earlier. So let's see if he can kind of find that here. But there's the Ooh. call with the double jump, and that's a good start for Mateo. Yeah, that's gonna make it real tough. Up smash did catch the jump, but yeah. Uh, that third hit of side beat down. Oh, okay, never mind. He <laughs> does find the kill. I was going to say it doesn't reach high enough, but... does find right. it there. Oh, Mateo getting the shield drop up air. Almost like the last game getting oh, that up air no. right there. Okay. Marth above Falcon with no jump. That's Terrifying. scary. That's you have no scary. Way back. Once you're knocked off stage, you're pretty much gone by that point. Yeah. Mateo confirming the up throw knee. I think catching the slide off on the platform. Side B works. Yeah, it's working this, but you know, it's not mech this time. <laughs> but you know, Mateo picking the spot really, really well. Of when, you, when, you, when you get that side B, especially on a Marth, it just uh -huh. feels because he's like at the height where you just follow up an up air. Sometimes a deep, but primarily up air is what I see Falcons yeah. do. Yeah. Yep. I mean, side B also a great call out on Marth, usually because uh, Marth's moves tend to come out above him. Yeah, um, exactly. So they have to do like an up tilt. You can just yeah. call him a side B yeah, and start a combo. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, that gimp would have been crucial. Gets the tipper. Falcon, no, he's thick boy. He's living. But there's a the call out as well with the neutral air, sending Falcon off the stage again. There's a tipper oh, Thundercats. <laughs> reading right where Mateo would land. Get, get a little of a clipper in there at least before yeah. things might turn ugly. But maybe he'll turn around. Oh, wait. Uh, all right, gets out of the combo, out. but yeah, this is looking real tough. Watch needs to start making things happen yeah. right now. This tech chase could be great. Because, like, the idea starts with what I'm seeing with Clutch. He, he, he needs the exclamation point. Yeah. He only really finds it, like, once or twice in the set where he needs to kind of, like, each stock to kind of be, like, okay, zero to depth, zero to depth, or, like, conversion into kill. Or, like, Absolutely. conversion into percent. You need to keep, you kind of need to capitalize that, especially against Mateo. You know, Mateo like, is, like, the opposite of that right now. Yeah, exactly. You know, you got to study the Kadano Mark follow up thread on Falcon. Let you know everything you can do off of up throw. It's yes. super valuable for Mars in this, you know, matchup. Yes, exactly. In clutch, he has Mateo at a pretty high percent. Oh, the down smash. Oh. He walked, so like he got out right and he walked him. into him. Yeah. Didn't walk up slowly. More so kind of more <laughs> so walked into him. So yeah. not quite the yeah. moment you would think there or think back to. But Mateo gonna move on. Gonna be in top 48 losers. Clutch out at 49th. Not too shabby though. I think it's about what he was seated yeah. from what we saw earlier. But absolutely whew. could be worse. Could be could be way worse. I've seen people who are seated to make like top 64 and don't do it. <laughs> Most of you've seen them with DQs, but sometimes they just get upset. Sometimes and that's how it is. Or just have a bad day. You know, we've all been there. Yeah. But 